Hello, dear viewers. I am Dr. Shikha. I am working as assistant professor with ABS Engineering College Ghazabad in the Department of Applied Science and Humanities. So today I am going to discuss about uh, the heteronuclear diatomic molecules. So heteronuclear diatomic molecules are the molecules that contain two different atoms. Example of heteronuclear diatomic molecules are such as CO, NO, HF, HCl, HBr. So first we will discuss uh, uh, NO molecule that contains 15 electron. And uh, as we have discussed in the uh, previous lecture also that up to 14 electron, uh, the filling of the electron is up to 14, first pi 2 px and pi 2 py fill, after that sigma pz fill. And after 14 electron, the filling is different. Uh, after filling of the 2s orbital, first sigma 2 pz are, is filled and then pi 2 px and pi 2 p by orbitals are filled. So I know it is an example of 15 electron. So filling will be the uh, will be like first sigma pz will fill after that pi 2 px and pi 2 py will fill. So what is the difference here? Uh, here because it is a heteronuclear diatomic molecule and it contains two different atoms in which one is the nitrogen and another is the oxygen and no and we know that uh, electronegativity of oxygen is great than uh, comparison to the nitrogen therefore Due to the electronegativity difference, oxygen would like uh, to stay on the lower energy state. Uh, as we know that higher is the electronegativity, um, uh, lower is the potential energy of an atom. Therefore, oxygen exists on the lower energy state. That's why when we draw the molecular orbital diagram, uh, it, uh, it, there is a, a difference uh, during the uh, representation of the molecule. So uh, we know that nitrogen, its atomic number is C1. Therefore, the filling of the electron is 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. Whereas oxygen, it contains 8 atomic number. Therefore, uh, uh, the atom would contain 1s2, 2s2, and 2p4. So now we will fill its electron. First 1s2 orbital will fill and it will again, uh, it will produce sigma 1s and sigma star 2s. Then 2s orbital, uh, uh, atomic orbital will participate in the molecular orbital formation and it will again produce two new, new molecular orbital in which one would be the sigma 2s and another will be the sigma 2, uh, sigma star 2s. Then after that, uh, filling of the 2p orbital will uh, take place. So 2p orbital, we know that 3 and 3p orbital are going to combine. It will produce 6 new uh, molecular orbital in which first sigma 2pz will fill after that pi 2px and pi 2p will fill. Uh, we know that one of the uh, p orbital contain 3 electron then another of the uh, contain uh, 4 electron. Therefore, after the filling of this 6 electron, then the remaining electron will go in the antibonding molecular orbital of the pi 2px. And from the electronic configuration, we know the pi uh, 2px orbital contain 1 electrons means it is the unpaired orbital. Therefore, the molecule will exist in the paramagnetic state. And uh, when we calculate its bond order, so bond order would be, as we know, 10 electrons are present in the bonding uh, molecular orbitals and 5 electrons are present in the antibonding molecular orbital. These are the antibonding molecular orbital. Therefore, the bond order would be the 2.5. Now, the next example is NO positive. It contains 14 electrons. Uh, Either it have 14 electrons, but the filling will be the according to the parent molecule as we have discussed in our previous lecture also. So here also in the same manner, first 1s uh, atomic orbital will combine, then 2s atomic orbital combine. And here, uh, because oxygen uh, is positive, therefore, three electrons are present. Now, the uh, filling of the electron will be the similar. First, one, uh, one, atom, one electron will come from this atom and one electron uh, of uh, oxygen will come and the pairing will take place after that pi x and 
pi 2 p y will fill. Uh, so here no electrons are present on the uh, antibonding state. Also, uh, here is no electron which is uh, unpaired. Therefore, the molecule exists in the diamagnetic state. And if we calculate its bond order, so bond order is coming 3. Now, if we differentiate between the bond order uh, of NO and NO positive, we know the bond order of NO positive is greater than comparison to the NO. Therefore, the stability of bond order of NO2 would be greater than comparison to the NO. And we know that bond order is inversely proportional to the bond length. Therefore, the bond length of NO would be greater than comparison to the NO positive. Now, uh, we will discuss the another example of uh, um, heteronuclear diatomic molecule, which is CO, and it contains 14 electrons. And we know that uh, in the filling of the electron, in case of 14 electron, first 2 pi x and 2 pi, uh, 2 pi y come, then sigma 2 pi z. So here, when we will fill the electron, we know the electronegativity difference uh, between the carbon and oxygen is greater. Therefore, their energy will be the different. Also, we know that oxygen is more electronegative than comparison to the carbon. Therefore, the uh, therefore the atomic orbital of the oxygen would be on the lower state than comparison to the carbon atom. So, uh, when one s orbital of carbon will combine with the uh, one s orbital of oxygen, it will produce one s sigma s and one uh, sigma star one s or, uh, uh, atomic orbital then 2s orbital will combine. So what is the difference here? Basically, first we will fill the bonding molecular orbital of 2s. Then after filling up the sigma 2s, uh, first 2 pi orbital will be the filled. And then pi, uh, after filling up the 2p orbital, then sigma 2pz orbital will be filled. Why this is happening? Actually, here, uh, due to the more electronegativity different between the carbon and oxygen, therefore, uh, in the atomic state, there is more repulsion. And due to the repulsion, the 2s antibonding orbital is going to flip uh, from, the, from here to here. Therefore, the energy of uh, pi 2 px, pi 2 py, and then sigma 2 pz, after that sigma 2 ps will fill. So, if we see the electronic configuration, uh, we can say that first sigma 1s will fill, after that sigma star 1s, then sigma 2 ps, after that pi 2 px and pi 2 py, then sigma 2 pz will fill, and after that sigma 2 ps will fill. This is only due to the repulsion between the atomic uh, state of the individual atom. So, um, uh, when we will calculate its bond order, so its bond order is coming half, the electron present in the bonding are tens, and the electron present in antibonding are four, therefore its bond order is coming three. And if we see it's the molecular orbital diagram, then we can say because of the presence of the all electrons are paired, it, this molecule exists in the diamagnetic state. Now, the another example is CO positive uh, ion. Uh, CO positive ion contains 13 electrons and the electron filling will be the same as it is filled in the CO. Uh, the only difference is that the electron, uh, uh, the last electron which is filling, it, uh, it would be the 2s and it contains one electron. So, this molecule exists in the paramagnetic state and the bond order is coming 3.5. Uh, so, uh, if we will discuss its uh, stability of the bond order, we can say clearly that because the bond order of the CO positive is greater than CO2, the bond order stability of CO positive would be greater than comparison to the CO. And if we discuss its bond length, then bond length of CO would be greater than comparison to the CO positive. Now, the another example of heteronuclear diatomic molecule is HF as it contains 10 electrons. Uh, so here, uh, due to the more electronegativity difference between the hydrogen and fluoride, here uh, the sp mixing is going to take place. Also, if uh, it is found experimentally that the electro uh, that the energy of one s is minus thirteen point six, whereas two p orbital contain the energy minus eighteen electrovolts. 
uh, whereas if we discuss a 2s orbital it is around minus 40 electro volt which is more than comparison to the 18 therefore uh, due to the uh, comparison uh, comparable energy between the s and p orbital the sp mixing is going to take place as we know the molecule which contain the same energy and same symmetry can combine therefore the pz orbital by default, we consider that it exists on the internuclear axis. Therefore, sp mixing is going to take place and it is going to form the sigma pz orbital. Whereas the 2s orbital and the remaining 2 pi x and 2 pi y orbitals are not going to take participate in the bond formation. And these are called the non-bonding orbital. Uh, and therefore, the bond order of the molecule would be 1 by 2. Uh, the electron present in bonding are 2 uh, minus uh, zero as there is no electron in the antibonding therefore the mole uh, the bond order of the molecule would be one and uh, the molecule exists in the diamagnetic um, state as there is no unpaired electron these are the reference that's all from my side thank you